I have the honor to give the floor to His Excellency Ambassador Magid El Suidi, Director General of COP28, to address the plenary on behalf of the United Arab Emirates as host of COP28. Your Excellency, you have the floor. Your Excellency Samah Shukri, uh, COP27 President, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honor to be here representing the United Arab Emirates, the host nation of COP28. I would like to thank Egypt for their warm welcome and hospitality. And I also want to thank the Secretariat of the UNFCCC, all the delegates and the representatives of the international governmental and civil society organizations. The progress we have made at COP27 is the result of our shared commitment to strengthening our response to climate change. As we begin our journey towards COP28, we know that we still have a steep hill to climb and we are determined to make progress. Working together, we will prepare for the milestone moment of COP28, when the world will conduct the first ever global stock take since the Paris Agreement. This will be a moment of clarity. We will have to be honest about where we are falling short, and we'll have to radically accelerate progress on all fronts. We need global solutions that leave no country behind. We need a new deal on climate finance so that trillions flow to developing and vulnerable nations that need it the most. We must increase support for adaptation in line with the spiraling risks impacting the poor and most vulnerable, and we have to deliver the global goal on adaptation. We need to find a way forward on loss and damage, and if we're going to make the rhetoric of a just transition a reality. We need to keep our focus on mitigation if we're going to keep global temperatures below 1.5 degrees. And we have to stop treating investments in climate action from adaptation to mitigation as a zero-sum game. To those who point to the many global economic challenges the world faces, the UAE's message is that this is the time. Accelerating climate action now is our greatest collective responsibility. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the UAE is an important hydrocarbon producer that has always lived up to its responsibilities. This means producing some of the least carbon intensive fuels while the world still relies on them, and it means investing in the energies of tomorrow. We have become one of the world's biggest investors in renewable energy, and we've developed some of the lowest cost, largest solar plants in the world, and the first ever nuclear plant in the region. We have been a first mover on zero carbon energies like hydrogen and proven mitigation technologies like carbon capture. We have set our economy on a path towards net zero by 2050 because we know it will provide new knowledge, new skills, new industries, new jobs and new opportunities. Distinguished delegates, we know that leveraging technology and partnering with our other nations is critical. Just last week, we partnered with Egypt to create a 10 gigawatt wind farm, one of the biggest in the world. And the week before, we partnered with the US to catalyze $100 billion in financing and investing, investment to deploy clean energy in emerging economies around the world. Today, the message we, I want to relay on behalf of the UAE is that global climate change is a clear path to, go, to global economic opportunity. We have to race forward with renewables, roll out nuclear, build the value chain of hydrogen, and we have to find solutions for the highest emitting and hard, hardest to abate industries. We need to invest in protecting biodiversity and fragile ecosystems. We've got to make our food systems more secure and less carbon intensive. And we will need everyone pulling in the same direction in solidarity. We need women and young people. We need scientists and civil society. We need government and industry, including the energy industry. We will leave no stone unturned, no solution unexplored, and no country or community behind. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Cop President, at Sharm el Sheikh, you asked the world to move from negotiation to implementation. And the UAE will be by your side as you drive that mission forward throughout your presidency year. I look forward to welcoming the world to COP28 UAE, the Emirates Climate Conference in 2023, and to further accelerate climate action. And we look forward to partnering with everyone to create a platform for practical solutions and to secure a truly sustainable future for all. Thank you very much. As a young country and a global crossroads, we have always made progress through partnership. Our founders taught us how to live in harmony with nature and with each other to embrace diversity. Here in the UAE, we believe that climate action is an opportunity that offers new promise to people and our planet. And that our long-term sustainability will stem from finding practical and pragmatic solutions that create opportunities for all to prosper. And so, today we invite the world to join us, to help us build bridges, create global consensus, and leave no one behind. Together, let us carve a bold new path, a united path. Let our actions speak louder than our ambitions. Let's turn our targets into tangible reality. Because we, the UAE, believe that where there is a will, there is always a way. Thank you, Excellency. We look forward to working with you in the preparations for the sessions next year.